Yo, what it do YouTube? Welcome back to my channel, man. And today we got today I'm gonna just go ahead and go through like the best abilities to use and kind of like break down abilities. Like um a lot of people were asking for me to do this. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do it. It was recommended. So let's get to it, man. First off, I'm gonna start off by let's start off with Cam Newton, all right? So Cam Newton is, if you look at the card, the top left, that shoe means he's a scrambling quarterback, right? Which means he doesn't get the same abilities as, let's say, a quarterback like Peyton, Peyton Manning or Tom Brady. He gets different abilities, more like scrambling abilities and throwing on the run abilities and stuff like that. So, I mean... It's not really that much to explain with this, right? So, I would say if you use like a scrambler or even an improviser quarterback, escape artist, of course, the probably the best ability in the game for a quarterback. Next, I would say dashing dead eye because a lot of people say Roman dead eye is better than dashing dead eye, but I still just like to use dashing dead eye. So. I would say, if you ask me, i say dashing dead eye, which is perfect pass, perfect pass accuracy while running outside the pocket. Next would be, I have evasive on him just for fun, but maybe you wanna go with like the identifier, which is like, just this is showing you where your opponent is on the field, who he's using, which is also a very good ability. Um, if you if you get blissed a lot, maybe the anchor extender, agile extender, uh, gutsy scrambler is cool. And if you like to run like a bunch of QB powers, maybe fast break, all right? And then I have no look dead eye for the last ability, which is just, just in case, you never know, you might need to scramble to the right. You got an open man on the left side. You go ahead and, you go ahead and throw it to the open man on the left side. Like it's, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, self Pass accuracy on crossbody throws, and they get there, right? So if you use like a scrambling quarterback, those are the abilities I would say use. Probably the best abilities for a scrambling quarterback besides evasive. You might want to go with like identifier, or maybe last ditch, or one of these agile or anchor extenders, right? <coughs> Next. Next, we're going to go ahead and look at Walter Payton, right? And this is a big one because I still see a lot of people do this, even when I'm playing people. So, first, of course, evasive, right? The thing with evasive is, it's basically jukebox and spin cycle in one ability. I see a lot of people come out with like jukebox, spin cycle, and evasive. And it's just like, uh, okay. I don't know why you would do something like that, but I mean, hey. But, I mean, why use these two when you could just use one, you know? So, evasive, which is probably the best running back um, ability in the game. If you don't like, if you just want to just make a quick cut, like a quick juke, and just keep it going. Evasive is def definitely it. Me, I like to truck people, so I like using. Uh, we're gonna go. We, no, actually, I'm gonna get into that with uh, the next running back I do. But yeah, man, it don't. There's no reason to use jukebox and spin cycle when it's in one ability. So just always keep that in your head. Always remember that. Next ability I have is armbar. Just because I feel like trucking somebody slows you down when you could just stiff arm somebody. You can just push them away. I mean, it's, come on now. It's not gonna slow you down. So these two, evasive and uh, armbar together, deadly, All right? Next ability I have is human joystick, which is, is this man is gonna turn, cut, real quick changes directions real quick right which is what i like so human joystick is definitely another ability that if you can get it on your running back definitely use it 
that's really effective. And then the last ability I have is Outside Zone Guru. So Outside Zone Guru is just for stretch plays. You know, uh, better blocking on stretch plays. Now, if you're, the person you're playing against still has a good run deep, it definitely, this won't work. I mean, it'll work, but if they're like, it's hard to explain. If they're like sending some type of blitz, or if they know run D, then it's, it's, yeah. Then there's inside zone guru. I could've went with either, either of these. Inside zone is just like gun plays, right? The half back zones and half back inside, stuff like that. These, that's what this is for, if you wanted to use it. And, is that it? Oh, or if you like to do tosses and, um, tosses and counter plays then you can also use pin and pull guru which is i i've only used this at the beginning of the year and it didn't really work for me so i wouldn't recommend it but i definitely recommend using these <coughs> excuse me using these two abilities right here next we're gonna go ahead and look at uh, we're gonna go look at what's his name I forgot his name already, jeez. Jim Brown, there we go. I gotta put him in my lineup real quick. Give me a second. Alright, so with Jim Brown, right? Uh, like the Cam Newton I was saying, if you look at the top left, his symbol is different from Walter Payton, so he gets different abilities than Walter Payton. Walter Payton, he won't get evasive. Instead, since he's a power back, he'll get bruiser, right? Which is basically, I've seen people come out with armbar, bulldozer, and bruiser. When it's the same thing, you can just come out with bruiser, which is these two abilities, armbar and bulldozer in one, right? So I got bruiser on him, jukebox, because he can't get evasive. So jukebox was the way to go with this one. And then I went ahead and put outside zone guru on them and inside. You know, just to just to have better run blocking on both plays. If I got two if you got two slots, why not? So that's what I would say. And receivers again. Uh let's start with Tori. Now on Tori, I like the that's like the route running receivers if you look at his symbol the route running receivers get router printers which is pretty good which is just you get additional high routes which is really effective right then you have let's see post specialist and you have where is it post flag elite now like the running backs and with their Juke and jukebox and spin cycle and armbar and bulldozer. There's no reason to come out with just post specialist and where is it? Isn't it a corner specialist? I'm not that. This isn't 2K. Where is it? Okay, so basically, there's no reason to come out and just with post specialist and uh, post flag elite. I would rather you just come out with post flag elite and that saves you space with your abilities. You come out with post flag elite, you got more space instead of using uh, post specialist and post flag elite right here. It makes no sense, right? Now I use grab and go for this Tory because he can't get human joystick. So grab and go was like the next way to go, which is pretty cool. Uh, what else do I have? Route technician, which is quicker cuts. Like if someone's manned up on them, I like to use rough technician to like get separation and on man beating routes. And it works a lot. So you could try this ability out if you like it. I know a lot of people like match up nightmare, but I know they patched it. So I mean, it's, I don't use it anymore. And then I have post flag elite, which it's I just explained. Now, I don't really do abilities for tight ends, but I'm gonna go ahead and go over it just to, you know, just to go over it and look at it. 
like good abilities. They're basically basically it's like the same abilities as the abilities as the receivers, excuse me. And except they get like armbar, uh tank, which is like I know I think Gronk is the only tight end that can get that ability right now. So tank is like uh, only for Gronk. Well it's not only for Gronk, but I know he's I think he's the only um tight end that can get that ability. But like I would use matchup nightmare on my tight end because nine times out of ten your tight end is gonna be matched up with a linebacker, right? I would also use um I might go ahead and with like I wish he had route apprentice. Maybe route apprentice. I think Tony Gonzalez can get route apprentice. But the reason I got Evan Ingram because he's faster. So route apprentice. If you can get Tony Gonzalez, if not, then I would say, let's see, does he have like a, okay, he doesn't, well, oh, there, there it is, he, I would go with tight end apprentice, which is just four additional routes at tight end, and then in this third slide, I would even put like, maybe, you know, just for one-on-one -one coverage, uh, red zone threat, or, you know, it, it all matters on how you run your offense. So if you do like a lot of in and outs, I would put in and out elite on them. Or corner out elite or post, in post elite. Maybe comeback curl. Keep Let's see what else. Stuff. Cross specialist, post specialist. Well, no, no, no. Not post specialist. Post flag elite instead of, instead of post specialist. Uh, in specialist. And, or double move elite. It's all about how you run your offense. But those, the abilities that I name, I think those are the best abilities to use in the game at each position. But if you have like a improviser quarterback, do I have a? Okay, I could do it with Baker Mayfield. All right. So let's see. Come on, Baker. Yeah. All right. So like, improviser quarterbacks get better ability, or like more like in the middle. Like they get some throwing abilities, some scrambling. Right. So I would go with Baker is slow, so you can't. It would it would be locked. But if you got someone like Patrick Mahomes or Steve Young, escape art is definitely dashing dead eye. Where is it? Where is dashing dead eye? Oh right, dashing dead eye. And then for your third and fourth slot, I personally like to use Gunslinger, and then I like to use uh, No Look Dead Eye. I feel like it makes your improviser quarterback play a lot better. Which I'm also thinking about switching back to like Patrick Mahomes or something. I don't know yet. Let me know in the comment section if you would want to see more Patrick Mahomes gameplay. I kind of like his card. I honestly think that's probably still the best quarterback besides the Golden Tickets. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this helped you a lot understanding the abilities. Uh, for the next video, I'm going to do on the defensive side, explaining the abilities on the defensive side. So make sure to leave a like, comment, make sure to subscribe and share. And I catch y'all in the next video, man.